Assalamu alaikum respected doctors welcome to my youtube channel mbbs and mbds lectures today is the third video of rapid revision course of removable partial denture prosthodontics in this video we will discuss about the first component of removable partial denture which is major connector and today we will discuss about maxillary major connector in detail now this video is very important for any le exam mds as well as for final year exam now first we start from definition of major connector then requirements then uh, desirable feature and then types of major connector and its indication contraindication advantages disadvantages first we start from definition of major connector what is major connector how we define major connector major connector is defined as a part of removable partial denture which connect the component on one side of the arch to the component on the opposite side of the arch this is the definition of major connector mean it uh, it is part of the removable partial denture and it connect one side component with the other side now all the remaining component all the remaining components of partial denture should join the major connector directly or in directly mm, directly like minor connector directly join the major connector and other component join the major connector with a indirectly with the help of minor connector all major connector should fulfill fulfill certain requirements which are described below these are the requirements requirements of major connector number 1 it should be rigid in order to withstand stricture process number 2 it should not interfere with the tongue operation third it should not alter the natural contour it should not impinge oral tissue mean it should not press oral tissue to block their blood supply next is it should not cover more tissue than required because this will be uh, this will be irritating for patient next it should be 4 to 6 mm away from free change our margin mean in maxilla 6 6 mm in mandible 3 mm away from free gingival margin next it should not trap food particle because if it trap food particle there will be poor oral hygiene there will be calculus plaque accumulation next it should have support from other parts of removable partial denture next it should distribute loads to all parts of the denture now come to the desirable features of major connectors number 1 major connectors should never terminate on the high vascular gingival tissue as they are susceptible to trauma from pressure next in maxillary arch the border of major connector should be at least 6 mm from the gingival margin of the teeth in mandibular arch the border of the major connector should be at least 3 mm from the gingival margin of the teeth the border of the major connector should be round and parallel to the gingival margin mean it follow the normal gingival contour if the gingival margin need to be crossed it should cross at right angle to produce least contact with the soft tissue mean if gingival margin need to be crossed it should cross at right angle mean at 90 degree to produce least contact with the soft tissue next is adequate rest are provided so the major connector are preventing from terminating harmful horizontal or lateral process mean adequate rest mean uh, the rest on the teeth is provided to prevent tissue and movement of major connector next interior border of the maxillary major connector should always end in the valley of the rogai not on the crest of the rogai remember not on the crest of the rogai should always end in the valleys of the rogai in palate <coughs> next metal extension from major connector should lie in the embrasure space in order to 
disguise the metal thickness mean to hide the metal thickness to hide the metal thickness next these should be made symmetrical and should cross the pellet in a straight line whenever possible mean this should be symmetrical on both side and should cross pellet in a straight line whenever possible next this should be design <coughs> sorry this should be designed in such a way that its margin do not cross the bony prominence such as thorai or soft tissue prominences this should have support from other component of the framework to minimize rotation of processes during function next is the this should be made of the alloy which is bio compatible with the tissue last is that this should not interfere with the patient speech these are the desirable features of major connector now come to the types of maxillary major connectors there are six types of maxillary major connector number one is a single posterior palatal bar second is a single palatal strip third is the anterior posterior or double palatal bar fourth is the horseshoe or u shaped connector and fifth is the closed horseshoe or anterior posterior palatal strip and sixth is the complete pellet now first we start from single posterior palatal bar mean uh, it indicates by name first is single mean single posterior present posteriorly palatal mean present on palate bar mean which thickness which width is less than 8 mm now single posterior palatal bar it is narrow and half oval shaped bar which is thickest in the center the bar is gently curved and it width is less than 8 mm if it width is less than 8 mm it is known as bar if it width is more than 8 mm then this is known as strip now sharp angle are best avoided at the junction of palatal bar and the denture base their sharp angle are best avoided now come to the real picture of single palatal bar this is a real picture of posterior single palatal bar on the model or cast now come to the indications there are two indications remember these are very important two indication of single posterior palatal bar are number one it is used to fabricate interim partial denture mean temporary partial denture second is it is used to replace one or two teeth on either side of the arch mean if we if we going for replacing one or two teeth then we go for single posterior palatal bar if we going for uh, interim partial denture temporary partial denture again we will go for single posterior palatal bar why because uh, its thickness is less than 8 mm and its uh, its strength also less than other type of major connector therefore uh, this type of major connector are not indicated in kennedy class 1 2 3 4 now now come to the disadvantages it is not adequately rigid because of narrow width second disadvantage it derives little vertical support from the hard pellet why because it less cover the hard pellet therefore it derive le- little vertical support third it can interfere with the tongue function and fourth it is not used in a distal extension cases and for replacing anterior teeth due to its less rigidity now come to the after a single palatal bar now come to the second single palatal strap this is a single palatal strap now uh, what is single palatal strap it width is more than 8 mm look at the width is more than palatal bar it consists of thin wide bend up metal the width is increased and the edential span is increase sufficient rigidity is obtained using a 22 gauge plastic patron now look at this real picture of single palatal strap 
Now come to the indications. Single bilateral steps are indicated in, again in two conditions. Number one, bilateral or unilateral tooth supported edential spin in class three cases and class two. Sometimes a wide palatal step can be used for unilateral distal extraction partial denture. Mean, mean uh, palatal step are indicated in two conditions, class 3 and class 2. These are the indications. Now come to the advantages. It has good rigidity and it resists torquing, torquing and bending stresses. It can be kept in thin section without compromising, compromising rigidity. It results in enhanced patient comfort. It distributes uh, stresses over a wide surface area because its coverage is large. Uh, disadvantages soft tissue reaction may lead to papillary hyperplasia. Some patients may complain of excessive palatal coverage. These are the palatal steps. Now come to the uh, interior posterior or double palatal bar. Here we uh, here we use single palatal bar, but in this condition, now we use double palatal bar or also known as interior posterior palatal bar. First, we only use uh, um, posterior palatal, single palatal bar. But here we use interior posterior or double palatal bar. It has an excellent rigidity due to large LB impact. What is large LB impact? With a denture base, the major connector meet with the denture base, it form a L shaped structure. This is known as strong L beam effect, which are present in interior posterior palatal bar and inter interior posterior palatal strap. Mean two bar which lie in different plane produce strong L beam effect. Interior strap is flat, located just posterior to the rugae region, and is narrower than posterior strap. Posterior step is thin and is at least 8 mm wide located on the hard palate. Lateral step or bar are narrow. These are often 7 to 8 mm wide. This type of connector is used when the periodontal support of the remaining teeth is good. When periodontal support of remaining teeth is good, we will go for double palatal bar or interior posterior major connector. Now come to the indications. Interior posterior major connector are indicated in. Now indications of interior posterior major connector. In class one and class two situation with healthy with healthy abutment and good rich support. Mean interior posterior major connector are indicated in class one and class two situation with healthy abutment and good rich support. Connector of choice in cases of large mid palatal maxillary tori. If there is a large mid palatal maxillary tori, the connector of choice is interior posterior major connector. It can be used in most of the partial denture situation. These are indications. Now come to the advantages and disadvantages. In, ad in advantages, it has an excellent rigidity. It is a patient preference, so it has less palatal coverage because patient always prefer this type of major connector due to less palatal coverage. Now, uh, come to the disadvantages. It derives less vertical support because of limited palatal coverage. It cannot be used in cases where the remaining teeth are periodontally compromised. It should not be used in cases of high narrow vault as interior bar interfere with the speech. If there is a high narrow vault, the patient may complain of discomfort in interior region. Now, come to the next. Harsh shoe shape yeah, are u shape connectors because its shape is like u this consists of thin bed of metal extending along the lingual slope of the posterior teeth on to the palatal tissue the metal cover the singuli a singula of the teeth means singulum of the teeth and extend onto the palate palate to entirely cover the rugae region Border of the connector should be either 6 mm from the gingival margin or extended to the lingual surface of the teeth. All borders should be curved and well rounded. This is horse shoe shape like horse shoe or U shape connector. This is the real picture of the metallic horse shoe shape connector. Now come to the indications. In case of class 4 situation, if interior teeth are missing like here, in case of class 4 condition, we give a harsh shoe shape. 
इन केसेस ऑफ इन ऑपरेबल टोरा एक्सटेंडिंग टू दैलेट सॉफ्ट पैलेट इफ देयर इज अ इन ऑपरेबल टोराई वी कैन नॉट ऑपरेट द टोराई एंड एक्सटेंडिंग एंड टू द सॉफ्ट पैलेट वी विल गो फॉर यू शेप इन केस ऑफ हार्ड मीडियम सूचर इफ देयर इज अ हार्ड मिड पैलेट सूचर अगेन वी गो फॉर यू शेप एडवांटेजेस दिस कैन डिराइव लिटल वर्टिकल सपोर्ट इन पेशेंट विद लार्ज overbite this connector can be suitable to support the replacement teeth even in thin section disadvantages the connector have tendency to spread apart when vertical forces is applied mean it will be spread apart these are not used in a distal extension cases the patient may complain about speech problem now come to the last uh not last second last this is a close क्लोज आर शू आर इंटीरियर पोस्टर पलेटल स्ट्रेप मीन इट इज अ कम्बिनेशन ऑफ इंटीरियर एंड पोस्टर स्ट्रेप लाइक वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इंटीरियर पोस्टर पलेटल बार हियर इंटीरियर पोस्टर पलेटल स्ट्रेप आर क्लोज हार शू शेप इट इज रिजिड एंड हैव एडुकेट स्ट्रेंथ इट कैन बी यूज इन मोस्ट ऑफ दार्शल डेंजर सिचुएशन इट इज मोस्टली यूज वेन देर आर लार्ज मैगजीरी टोराई विद मोर नंबर ऑफ टीथ मिसिंग लार्ज मैगजीरी टोराई With more number of teeth missing, border of connector is kept six mm from the free gingival margin. It should be ensured that the border are made smooth and polished. This is the interior posterior palatal strip. Now, what are the advantages? It is rigid and derive good vertical support from bony palate. It resists torquing and bending stresses better. It provide alpine effect like interior posterior palatal bar. Here interior posterior palatal. step now disadvantages interfere with speech and our patient is it is discomfort due to more palatal coverage now come to the complete palate this type of maxillary major connector completely cover the palate look at this diagram complete palate now this provide excellent support because it will cover more the palate area and rigidity and retention the interior border is kept 6 mm away from the gingival margin or should cover the cingulae of all interior teeth this is a complete palate this is a complete palate indication in class 1 and class 2 situation in cases of missing interior as well as bilateral edential spaces mean both interior and posterior teeth are missing in case of class 1 and class 2 situation in case of poor ridge support or plebeal tissue mean plebeal mean thick soft tissue are poor ridge support in the long edential span when opposing all mandibular teeth are present when opposing all mandibular teeth are present but maxillary is absent here mean in maxillary uh, in maxilla there are some teeth are missing but in mandible all teeth are present we will go for complete palate and also cleft palate cases with a high arch palate if there is a high arch palate and cleft palate patient because it will close the cleft of the palate now come to the advantages excellent rigidity and support in case of metal base better perception of temperature changes get it all about temperature changes also disadvantages speech interference and chances of papillary hyperplasia of the palate because due to more coverage now uh, come to the summary of the maxillary major connector first thing is the important things in maxillary major connector we should keep the margin of major connector away from 6 mm away from pre gingival margin the next thing in which condition if in exam question is come in uh, 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 which type of major connector we give in uh, in interim partial denture this is a single posterior palatal bar and uh, which type of major connector we give in a, a patient with one or two teeth are missing single posterior palatal bar which uh, uh, maxillary major connector are indicated uh, in kennedy class 2 and class 3 uh, this is the single palatal strip uh, which uh, maxillary major connector uh, are uh, indicated in class 4 uh, uh, in class 4 this is the uh, harshu or u shape which maxillary uh, major connector are indicated in class 1 and class 2 there is a interior and posterior palatal strip uh, interior posterior palatal bar 
and also interpolatory step. Which major connector um, are uh, contrary indicated in periodontally compromised teeth in interpolatory bar? Uh, which uh, major connector are uh, connector of choice in maxillary uh, tori? Maxillary uh, parietal tori. This is the main interposterior bilateral step. And uh, which major connector are uh, uh, indicated um, uh, in which major connector are uh, indicated in cleft lip patient? A complete palate. Which major are uh, which major connector are indicated in the high wall palate? Clip palate, complete palate. Which major connector are indicated in uh, in both interior and posterior missing teeth? Uh, complete palate. These are all about. Uh, and uh, which major connector are indicated in large maxillary tori with more number of teeth missing? This is the close or sure interior posterior palatal. Strip. These are all about maxillary major connector. Now, in a, in a fourth video, we will discuss about mandibular major connector. These uh, these are very important in every type of exam. Now, today our topic is end. If you like my video, press the like button and share this video with your friends. If you are new to my channel, subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon in order to receive my each new video notification. For watching my videos, I am very thankful to you. Thank you very much.